In this video, I'm going to show you the workflow and in DJI Terra processing with some ground control points. Let's go to new missions, 3D model. Okay, and then we're going to import our images using this folder at the top. So this is from uh, two flights of a Phantom 4 RTK. I'm just going to drop them both in there. And you can see that they appear on the map with the geotags and you can view them here. Our images, our latitude, longitude, altitude, your pitch and roll, and our horizontal and vertical accuracies. Close that down. Next thing I'm going to do is going to go to do our ROI reconstruction. So it'll bring up the images in the 3D space. <clears throat> what I can do then is click the aerial triangulation. Now this will take a few minutes, and once that's complete, we can move on to the next stage. Once the reconstruction is completed, then you can set a bounding box around the area. This just makes the, uh, the data look a bit neater. So you can click at the tools at the box and just drag around the boundary. And apply, just make sure that it's got all the data <clears throat> in and around. And go back. Then we can start adding our ground control points. So we know that the export of this is going to be for the UK that is in national grid go back then we go to the GCP manager make sure that is set to OS there we go and we can add our ground control point file which is here that's in here. So what we can do then is just go on the individual ones, we can tick this to make it a little bit easier so it will bring up the images in that space. So we've got SL1 there, so we can just find that center. After you've done a couple it will slowly adjust it. There. So once it's found that and it's found the center, then we don't really have to add any more and go through these. And there. That's it. So obviously we'll make our way because we are relying on the GCPs on here. Then we'll go through all these. And once we've done that, we can click optimize. That's basically going to use that information we've given it. <clears throat> To, uh, to adjust and scale the model. Once that's done, we can pull up the report and we can check the residual values of the ground control points. These are perfectly acceptable. I think less than, than 50 mil is fine on there. Obviously, if you're doing this real, you'd add uh, more ground control points in so we're happy with that we can go back and then we go to the reconstruction so typically speaking you'll be wanting the point cloud which the universal format is las and then that we might want the mesh out as well so i tend to click for obj once that's ready we can click start and wait for the process to begin <clears throat> 